I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, and on this Thyroid Thursday, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new clinical trial for thyroid eye disease. As everyone who's probably watching this or ha either is afflicted or has a family member with this disease and wants to know more. Well, this new drug called teprotumumab, a hard name to pronounce, but a drug that seemingly blocks the immune system's recognition of the molecules that cause this disease, namely a couple of the receptors. This drug has had enormous success in the, the phase two trial that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, and now is coming out in a phase three trial that's looking to expand the number of patients they're treating and so that we can provide it to all patients. We'll tell you a little bit more about this drug and its treatments. So we are interested in to know what this drug does for thyroid eye disease. The first trial showed that it reduced the eye bulging and the proptosis by nearly three millimeters or as much as orbital decompression surgery. And I do orbital decompression surgery all the time, hundreds of cases per year, and I've noticed a significant effect with this drug. The new clinical trial just starting is going to take patients who are relatively newly diagnosed with the eye disease within nine months of the first appearance of the eye disease and to give them teprotumumab. And it'll be a placebo controlled trial, but all patients will be able to get the drug at the conclusion of the study. If you think that you might be eligible and if you've had the disease less than nine months, meaning the eye disease and your thyroid is stable, I would encourage you to contact us as you might be eligible for this type of treatment. So a big question is how this molecule works. It is a humanized antibody that binds to a receptor called the IGF-1 receptor. Again, most of this science has been worked out by Dr. Smith and then later in uh, us together in the laboratory. But he had discovered this receptor and the interaction of this receptor long ago and the potential importance in Graves. Nonetheless, this antibody seems to block that receptor and prevent some of the signaling. In essence, this antibody, this treatment, blocks the immune system recognition of a receptor that seems to be really important in causing the disease. It doesn't paralyze the immune system, such as steroids and other things. So it appears to be very well tolerated for patients um, and quite effective by the, by the journal articles that have been published. Look forward to exploring this more in the clinical trial because we're very excited that it could replace surgical therapy. So who to contact? I am in charge of the United States Centers for directing the care and for patients interested in this trial. We have six centers currently. You can email me and I can help to facilitate you to any one of the different centers. I can also do free pre-screening tests to see if you may be eligible. So we're happy to answer your questions and to move forward with this and hopefully offer some new therapies for patients along the way.